Welcome back. Second verse, a little different from the first, but we're still playing all the hits. It's playoff time in both Indiana and Michigan. We'll start the second half where we left off in the first, finishing things up in the Hoosier State. Wawa C got an upset win over South Bend Riley last weekend, looking to create that same magic against Northridge. Dropping in at the end of the second, the Raiders' Travis Hankey powers one in for six, and a quick check of the scoreboard tells us that Northridge now leads 42 to zero. Yeah. Great vibes for the home team, but the Warriors didn't want to go out completely silent. Raiders with the ball a little bit later looking to pass, but Cooper Garden getting a pick and a takeaway for his team, taking this one back for a big game down the left sideline. Looked like he might get all the way to the end zone on this return. Finally gets caught up in the red zone, not quite able to reach it, but he sets his offense up to do just that. Still, it wouldn't be enough as Northridge blast pass Wawa C in this one, 49 to 20, the final score. So checking out that sectional, it sets up a rivalry rematch between Northwood and North Ridge, both sides handling their matchups easily this week. Also in a different Class 4A sectional, New Prairie gets a scare in overtime, but they're still on the road to Indianapolis as they beat Kankakee Valley 28-21. to Now let's get to an awesome matchup in Class 3A, undefeated West Noble versus undefeated Knox. This video courtesy of our good friends over at WHME. The Redskins got the game going with the first score. Miles McLaughlin powering it in up the gut to put his team in front in the first quarter. But check out the explosive response in the third quarter by West Noble. Shotgun snap, handoff to Fernando Macias, and he will see you later. Huge run to bring his team back in it. Hard hitting, low scoring affair in this one, but it'd be Knox who escapes with the W. They win 15 to 13 and they'll play John Glenn after the Falcons took down Fairfield in their sectional semi. Now dropping down to a few more scores, this one in Class 2A, the sectional 33 final will feature a couple area teams as Bremen and LaVille both get the better of their matchups this week. They'll play each other at LaVille next week. A couple of blowouts in the 1A sectional with our Michiana teams. North Judson gets a big win over South Newton, 42-0. And Triton says, that's cool, hold my Gatorade. A 56-0 win over Culver Community means they'll face the Blue Jays next week. Now, Michigan kicked off playoff action this Friday night as well. With that, we've got just a few more results we want to bring you here on air. Paul Paul was one win away from going undefeated in the regular season. They opened the postseason with a victory over Edwardsburg. Meanwhile, St. Joe beat Lakeshore 35-0 in the regular season, but the Lancers get the the better end of that rematch. They live to play another day with a 20 to 15 win. Elsewhere in Michigan, Buchanan Bucks come back from down 21 to 8 to get a victory 29 21. They'll play for a district title next weekend. Also, Berrien Springs picks up a big win over South Haven to keep the Shamrock season alive. As always, for a full list of the weekend scores, you can head to WNDU.com and click on the sports tab. Now this weekend, Notre Dame returns.